Imagine you've just woken up on a bright sunny morning in your middle class suburban home. Rays of sunlight beaming in through your bedroom window as you roll over to greet your spouse. You get up, wash, and prepare for the day. Your robot butler has just made a fresh pot of coffee, paired well with a freshly delivered newspaper. The pages still warm from being carried by the paper boy in the October morning sunlight. This peaceful morning is swiftly turned on its head, however, as the news begins to report confirmations of nuclear detonations all across the globe. The military quickly arriving in your small neighborhood to help evacuate residents of the local vault. You and your family barely escaping the atomic fire that engulfs your once peaceful home. Far below the now scorched earth, you, your family, and your neighbors all find yourself inside the cold, steel confines of the vault. Men and women in blue jumpsuits, scientist coats, and security armor guide you deeper into the unknown facility. They tell you that you need to be depressurized before going deeper into the vault to begin your new life underground. But this is just a sugar-coated fantasy. Instead, you and your family, your friends and neighbors, are all put into cryogenic stasis, left frozen in time for God knows how long. Eventually, you do wake up, the last indeterminate amount of time a blur, fuzzy and unclear. Two things, however, are very apparent. The first being that you are the only survivor from the past to have awoken in this unsure future. And the other being that the world you've woken up in is not the same as the world you were frozen in. Even more so, neither is the vault itself. There's a difference in the quality of the air. Before, where it was clean, almost medically so, now it smells dirty, stale, rotten almost. It doesn't take long though to find out why. The once clean and clear halls of the vault now littered with trash, debris, and most notably, human remains. The sterile environment you entered however long ago, now a scene of ghoulish slaughter. Skeletons seemingly ripped from bodies before being picked and rubbed clean. Corpses hanging from the walls, bits and pieces littered about like discarded fast food packaging. The way you came in so long ago now blocked off, forcing you to delve deeper into this waking nightmare. That's the only way to really describe it though. A nightmare. Mutilated bodies, demonic effigies. Twisted and warped, blood and viscera everywhere you step. Most horrifyingly, perhaps, within the carnage, you can see pattern, intent, meaning. None of this was done by accident or by simple minded violence or neglect. Everything that you see around you was deliberate like some twisted madman decorating his home with the latest styles. The latest styles being the insides of others. The thought passes your mind, and you wonder, for just a moment, if perhaps any sane people might still be hiding inside the vault somewhere. The thought quickly passes, though. As anyone who somehow managed to remain alive in all this blood and darkness might not be worth saving. Moving throughout the facility, you begin to ask yourself, could all of this have really been the work of one person, or was it a group of people? The level of violence seems almost unprecedented for just one man. In the end, though, it doesn't really matter. 
whether by one or by one thousand, what surrounds you is the same either way. The darkest, most twisted violations of the human condition you have ever seen. You hope, beyond hope, that the unfortunate victims of this macabre cave of horrors died quickly to alleviate their suffering. Even though deep down, you know that such a wish holds as much chance and as much value as a coin thrown down a well. Through quick wits, physical prowess, armament, or sheer dumb luck, you manage to make it to the exit of the vault, the daunting elevator to the surface before you. With the bloodbath of violence at your back, though, the heavy platform begins to rise to the surface, and you can't help but wonder if this is how you have awoken into this world, what other ungodly horrors await for you above ground?